Hi everyone, my name is Alexa and recently I released Markdown Blogger, which is a plugin for Obsidian that allows developers to instantly push Markdown notes from Obsidian to their blog site. And this plugin works with any framework or static site generator like Next.js, Astro, all they have to do is be configured to render Markdown. The reason I created this plugin was because I found when creating posts for my own blog site, I was using Markdown and I wanted to compose that Markdown in Obsidian because it's Obsidian, it feels nice, it looks nice, and it's just a better way to write Markdown instead of having to write it directly in VS Code. And my workflow involved writing the note in Obsidian, then copy and pasting all the contents of that file into a new file in the Astro project. And this was a bit problematic because one, I really want to be copy and pasting stuff, creating new files. It just seemed like there should be a better way. And also, oftentimes I would copy and paste that into the VS Code editor and then find spelling mistakes in my blog post. And then I would have to change it in both places to keep the files in sync. And oftentimes I wouldn't do this. And then it was hard to go back and make revisions to my blog post because the two files, the one in Obsidian and the one in Astro were not in sync. Sorry about that noise. I'm in college right now in the city. So let's take a look at what Markdown Blogger can do. So once you have the plugin installed, you can simply go to the Obsidian settings, community plugins, and search for Markdown Blogger and you could just install it. And once you have that installed, you want to set a project folder. So this is going to be the absolute path to your blog project folder. And in my case, this is somewhere deeply nested in my computer, but it's actually very simple to get this absolute file path. If you just open your project folder in VS Code and then right click the folder, you can copy the absolute path. And make sure this folder is where you want your blog post to show up. Mine are all in the content blog folder inside of my Astro project. That's just how Astro does things, but if you're using a different framework, it may be different. Next, if you're creating a new blog post, what you need to do is create an Obsidian file, write some content in there. I have my own blog template set up. This is just something that Astro is formatted like, so it's what I'm using. And then I'm able to pull up the command palette by pressing command P or control P on Windows and type in push and I'm able to click enter and I push that file to the local project folder on my computer and it's going to show up in VS Code. So now I see that I made a spelling error and I change it in VS Code. How do we get these two files in sync? I go back to Obsidian and simply just use the pull command. Command P, make sure you're on the right file and you want to pull that new content from VS Code back into that file. So you can use that command, the pull command, and your two files will be up to date and in sync. One thing to note, make sure you're naming your files appropriately, because as you can see, the name of your Obsidian file corresponds to the name of the file in your actual project. Also, this isn't a version control system like Git. It doesn't track version history. It simply overwrites the content of the file. So make sure you are really only working with one file at a time, pulling and pushing. So implementing this plugin from a coding perspective was actually quite simple. It's a very basic concept. And essentially what I did was create a plugin from the Obsidian plugin template and Obsidian plugins, they use TypeScript. So in my main.ts file, I simply add a few commands and what they do is just access the Node standard library. This is a set of packages that come with Node.js itself. I'm not using any uh, third party packages or anything like that. This is all native stuff. I'm basically just calling the file system module and that allows me to create files, read files, 
all that. I'm also using some of the Obsidian tools to get all of the content from the editor and copy and paste that into the new file. So check out this code. It's open source. If you want to reach out to me with suggestions on how I can make this plugin better, please feel free to do so. You can message me via email, through LinkedIn, or probably the best way is to create an issue on the GitHub repository. And then I can look at it, answer your questions, and also possibly implement it into the roadmap for this plugin. So thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to your feedback. I hope this plugin helped you.